A senior minister, Teo Chi Hien, says the key principles guiding Singapore's approach to the world remain relevant. They are pragmatism, supporting an open and connected global environment and adhering to international rule of law. Mr Teo says these were established by the late Mr Lee Kuan Yew and saw Singapore through its first 50 years of independence. He was speaking at a summit on Asia's future. Our strategies and solutions may change, but the principles that underpin them remain. We cannot afford to close ourselves off, but openness should not be unfettered either. A pragmatic approach must include a system domestically to ensure an equitable distribution of the benefits. And internationally, we need a robust and fair mechanism to resolve the disputes that will inevitably arise. Mr Teo says Singapore is not without agency, even though global forces are often beyond the control of small countries. Too many countries today are focused on narrow self-interest and a zero-sum view of the world. We hope to join hands with like-minded countries and gender a commitment to enlightened self-interest where we grow the pie and not simply fight over how to share it. A Deputy Prime Minister Hing Sui Kiet says when Mr Lee Kuan Yew was Prime Minister, he was well regarded because he spoke his mind and had a very strategic world view. Mr Hing recalls one incident in 1999 when Mr Lee spoke to the then US Secretary of State and Chinese Foreign Minister about a conflict. Mr Hing says Mr Lee was able to give a clear solution to handling the relationship and was very persuasive to both parties. I remember one of the party was when I brought them, sent them down in the lift, one of them said, I want the notes of this meeting verbatim. You know, that what he said make a lot of sense. <laughs> so I think that that would be my take on why he has been so well uh, accepted, even though he never means his words. A former Prime Minister of Australia, John Howard, echoed those sentiments. He described Mr Lee as a citizen of the world who related to his region and beyond. I remember towards the end of the American involvement in the Vietnam War, which by then had become very unpopular, not only in America but also internationally. Lee Kuan Yew was outspoken in his support. He said that America's involvement in Vietnam had bought time for countries such as Singapore. It had helped to prevent a communist takeover in Indonesia. In other words, he understood the geostrategic currents and the various pressures in our region.